Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Lena and I do videos on fashion shoes and handbags, some lifestyle too. I do some product reviews as well. If you like these kind of videos, stick around. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my handbag collection. Also, if you'd like me to review one of the bags that I've shown you today, please comment them down below and I'll be more than happy to share my more detailed opinions and, and advice on those bags. We'll start it off from biggest to smallest. Now, the first bag I'm going to show you is my Christian Louboutin Baloma bag. This bag is a quite large and it's in the color 10. It's got a bit, of so a bit of red on the side there and the legendary rock stars. Now, it's not a very practical bag because it's really heavy, like I said, um, but it's a beautiful statement piece. The next bag is also a Christian Louboutin and it is also the Baloma, but this is in a size medium and it's in the black. I love the colors on this bag. You've got the beige, the black, a bit of red as well on the inside and the sides. I've got the leopard, the studs. Um, this is a lot less heavier than the other one. This is a lot lighter. It is more practical. I find that I do reach for it more than the other one when I'm wanting a black bag. And like I said, it is a statement piece. Um, it's got the golden studs here, which again, they're not sharp. They just look sharp. The leopard is just that extra sexy touch to it. I feel like it just makes it just gives it a wow factor now the next bag I have is from Louis Vuitton this is the Louis Vuitton Vitero um, I got this as a birthday present and it's well the camera might pick this up as red it's actually more of a fuchsia pink um, I love this bag like I said it has a lot of sentimental value it's even got my initial initials on there on the on the key and it's got the lock um, it's got some compartments inside just for your cards and your phone and it has a zipper that's usually a lot softer to close and also comes with a shoulder strap the next one is also a louis vuitton bag it's the venus bag and this one is more of a maroon red in comparison to my other one um this one is just I fell in love with the way it looks. I think it looks great for work. It's like a little doctor's bag. Um, it's got heaps of compartments inside. I've got the dust bag in there. It also comes with a strap, a shoulder strap. It is not adjustable, so you can only have it on your shoulders. This is not long to have crossbody. Um, we can try it, and some people might like that. Continuing on the Louis Vuitton theme, I also have a, the Louis Vuitton Pichette in black. Um, this one comes with a strap as well. You can also wear it um, across body or shoulder. It has three compartments. I've stuffed it up with stuff in here only because I don't want it to lose its shape. Um, and that's how I store most of my bags that are softer so they don't lose their shape. Um, this one is a super super practical bag it can carry so much in it you can even wear it on the weekends you don't have to wear it out um, for a special occasion it can certainly be a very versatile bag you can literally wear it anywhere at any time the next bag is the YSL or Yves Saint Laurent Kate Tassel with the gold hardware um, this bag is really beautiful it's just got a magnetic um, closure and it's got a long strap um, it's only got one compartment on the inside and one tiny cop one tiny pocket for just your cards um, this is how long the strap is this is beautiful evening bag it's really just a simple clutch black with some gold and I love it Continuing on the Yves Saint Laurent theme, and this is a Lulu bag in a small. Um, it's got silver hardware, it's got the Yves Saint Laurent line right here. Again, I bought this one pre-loved. The lady was selling it. Can you see that? It's still got the um, wrap on it. She only used it for two hours and decided to sell it for half price. So, her loss, my gain. Um, it's got lots of stuff in it still. It's got a, quite a few compartments in there. Um, it's got some stuff as well, like I said. This is a really beautiful, simple bag. It's just elegant. 
a part of my collection is also a couple of Valentino Rockstad bags. Now, this beautiful Rockstad bag comes in a maroon color. This is a absolute piece of art. It's super shiny. It's a statement. It's got one big compartment and a card compartment inside. Again, I do store all my bags with some tissue paper or bubble wrap or something like that only because I don't want them to lose their shape. Also from Valentino, I have a beige rock stud clutch. Now, this one is got very soft leather. I'm not sure if you can see some of the marking on it. Um, it's a very delicate clutch, but it is absolutely beautiful. In case you didn't know, this is the Valentino Pink Rock Stud wallet on chain. It is super cute. I love the color. Like, I was never into pink until I had my daughter. And then when I had my daughter, I just became obsessed with pink. I don't know. Um, I really wanted a hot pink bag. And I got this one. This Gucci Soho pink bag. I got it pre-loved and I was really, really, really happy with it. Like, I absolutely adore this bag. I think I wore it on months and months on end. Like, I did not put this bag down at all. The color is really beautiful. It's just like a dusty, dirty rose pink. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to come back, why don't you hit the subscribe button? My next bag is the Gucci Interlock, Interlock bag. The hardware is a very light champagne color. My favorite part about this bag is the lock. I'm like obsessed with the lock. So it is pull and then you open it. Um, it's got at the moment just my card holder, some cash and a couple of other things. Like I said, I've been wearing this bag for the past couple of weeks because I find it really practical on the weekend when I'm running around um, and going anywhere. This bag is the Gucci Marmont wallet on chain. This is super light bag. The hardware, as you can see, is like a coppery gold. Um, you can't fit much in this bag at all. Literally wallet on chain. So it's just got a few compartments for your cards and your phone, a couple of other things, and that's probably it. I like using this bag on a date on a date night only because you can't fit much in it really. Um, it's not like on the weekend where you're trying to run errands and have 110 things in your bag like taking your whole house with you. Uh, and the next bag is the Gucci Ophelia. When this one first came out I was absolutely obsessed with it. I love the Gucci colors right here. I love the neutral colors on it just in general a very neutral person i love my nudes and my blush colors and this was like something that i had thought about for a long time i bought it pre-loved also i found it on a facebook group and the lady that was selling it was super helpful i'm pretty sure she even delivered it to my house um this bag is really really unique you can carry it as a clutch just like that or you can have it over your shoulder or crossbody now, the only annoying thing about this bag is how to en to get into the bag. So it's got magnetic, let me do this. It's got a magnetic closure and the magnet is super strong. You can see there are this one here and one there. Um, it's not the most user-friendly bag to get in and out of. My next bag is the Gucci hold up Dionysus or Dionysus however you want to pronounce it in the old medium when this bag first came out it had completely different sizes as to how they are selling now so this old medium is at the moment um, a little bit bigger than the large yes it's a little bit bigger than the current large and that was the medium this bag is absolutely beautiful. It's insanely neutral. Um, I love this bag so much. Like, I absolutely love this bag. Um, this is the, let's say it again. Dinos, Dino, no, no. <laughs> this is the Dion, Dionysus, Dionysus or Dinosis. 
Dionysus. Let's stick with Dionysus. Bloom super mini bag. This bag is really, really cute. I can fit my card holder and can fit my phone. That's all you can fit in here. That's it. The next bag is just this really simple Burberry um, camera bag. It is just a classic Burberry canvas with a gold buckle at the front that says Burberry right here. It's got two compartments of two zip pockets. This is just a fun weekend bag. The strap is adjustable, not by a lot, but still adjustable. So if you're short or if you're tall, you can definitely make it fit, um, depending on your height for it to look just in the right place. Stella McCartney. This is a really hard to back, a hard back to show. All right, struggle is real. Um, it's a sack. Okay. So it's a very shimmery black. Now, um, Stella McCartney is known for using vegan materials. So this is not leather by any shape or form. It only looks like leather. The, the hard detail um, is really stunning. I feel like the only reason I got it is literally because of the chains, because it's such a unique piece. Uh, because I love this one so much, I got it in a different color, which is not as soft. Literally the same, but the fabric is a lot heavier, so it does hold its shape a little bit more than the black one. And this is my final piece. This is my beauty. Um, this is the Chanel classic single flap in black. I did buy this one pre-loved because you can't get them any more new. This one is a absolutely stunning, timeless piece. I have to admit it's probably one of my favourite bags out of the whole collection I've just shown you. I love the massive Chanel gold logo. The buckle is stunning. It, it's only got one massive compartment and a couple of little card slot pockets one with a zipper and one without the strap is really long it's an absolutely beautiful bag like i said i'll be always i'll always keep this bag forever okay guys that's it for my bag collection if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you'd like to come back why don't you hit the subscribe button also, if you'd like me to review one of the bags that I've shown you today, please comment them down below and I'll be more than happy to share my more detailed opinions and, and advice on those bags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.